Most recently, I had an incident like my young partner here where I was patrolling the area alone, as I usually do. The call I responded to was a simple petty theft at the Family Dollar out in Boron. Two hours old, suspect no longer there. As I was there taking the report, watching the video of the suspect stealing items, the suspect returned to the store. I made contact with that subject, who immediately became irate, aggressive, and uncooperative. I tried to take him into custody, and he physically resisted. My backup was in Mojave, over 30 miles away. I struggled with this subject for 15 to 17 minutes before anybody could possibly get to me. I did have some very nice women in the store with me that were trying to talk this suspect down. However, he refused to listen to anybody. It was a pretty, pretty hard struggle. Um, just me and this subject alone, again, waiting for my backup. At a certain point, I lost my radio contact because my radio was hanging off um, down by my leg. Um, luckily, the manager of the store was able to get a phone call into the sheriff's department to give updates on what was going on with me and this subject who were wrestling around on the ground. We actually have video of this incident. If you would like to view, it's a short clip. Is that something you've previewed? There, there's a rule about previewing because yes, it's on public airways. You have that. We just want to you, provide Ms. and give you the option. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We were uh, presented with a video just prior to the meeting, and KGov has reviewed. They do have it set up. If you would like to review it, it's video only, no audio, and it's about two minutes long. Are you okay with that, Sheriff? I am. Very good. Please proceed. As I said, I wrestled with this subject for quite a long time, and at a certain point, he was able to. Uh, escaped my grasp and I had to draw my weapon and basically be ready to use deadly force to try to subdue him. It took me another five minutes and uh, Yes, uh, it took me about five minutes to get to this point to where I got the subject to turn around and put his hands behind his back. However, every time I reached for him, he would pull away and at one point he tried to grab my hands. Um, at that point, I decided maybe I should go hands-on, um, and I actually placed the carotid hold on him to try to um, get him to comply. Um, I applied as much pressure as I could to get compliance from the subject. However, he continued to resist and refused to follow any direction. At one point, I believe I had made him unconscious, however, it was just a decoy. Um, as soon as I loosened my grip, you'll see the subject spin away from me, and we try to, I try to get him back into some type of hold to gain control, but he's able to get away. You're, shoot, you're seeing just a short version of everything that happened. Again, this whole incident took about 17 minutes, and again, my closest backup was in Mojave. And even at, you know, lights and sirens, it takes quite a while to get to that area. I am the only Boron deputy. I am the only one assigned out there. I enjoy working out there. I enjoy some of the people that I work with. The community is very good to me. Um, however, we could use some help. Hmm. That, that community is definitely in need of more law enforcement presence, and I could sure use the help, because I plan on staying out there until the end of my career. As you can see, I'm still struggling with this subject, and he continues to fight. I received some injuries from this, minor injuries. I was able to return back to work. I'm still healing, but at a certain point, you'll see I go to my firearm, and basically at this point, it's I'm done fighting. I feel that my life is in jeopardy. And unbeknownst to me, this subject was a parolee at large. I had no idea. 
I went out there to take a simple petty theft report. Um, and again, the suspect returned unbeknownst to me. And this is what I faced with no help. Thank you for sharing that uh, compelling story. And we are grateful that you survived as well as Deputy Gafford. And uh, thank you for sharing that with us this morning. Is there anything else you'd like to say? I would like to just ask the board to make decisions that this community deserves. The citizens, residents of Kern County, give our sheriff the help he needs, and uh, we can provide the service that the residents of Kern County deserve. Thank you, Deputy. Thank you. Thank you for your service to our community.